Good morning and welcome back to my vlog. And if you guys are new here, uh, I'm Paulina and I'm a pediatric cardiology fellow. And this week I thought I would film for you guys a little week in the life. So this week I'm actually on a research rotation and I get some questions from people like, what does that look like for you? Are you just like in the library all day? Or like, what do you do? So I thought I would take you guys around with me and show you exactly what I mean. So let's go. So I have a research project that is going through the IRB, which is the Institutional Review Board. And basically they're the people that make sure that you're following all the rules and that you're following proper protocols uh, when you're doing these uh, research projects because you are using real people, real data. So the IRB submission process is very arduous, I would say. So I've been working on that for about three months and today I'm gonna to just check in and see how my process is going on the online uh, portal and see if there's any edits that I have to make to my proposal or anything like that. My goal is to really have that done by the end of next month. I think that would be awesome. But in addition to that, while I'm on research, I'm also still going to clinic. So I am doing a half day clinic and then I'm also doing a just normal didactic. So we pretty much have didactics every day. And today I'm actually responsible for doing a lecture for the fellows. Today I'm gonna to be talking about myocarditis. That's been a pretty popular subject, I would say, especially since COVID happened. I think there's been more cases out there that were associated with COVID, but in children we've seen more of a, the Missy and things like that. So headed in now and then I will catch up with you guys there. All right, I'm here. So the nice thing about where I live and the hospital I work at is that there's not a lot of traffic. So I can usually get here uh, like in 10 minutes. So I'm gonna head in. Here. In my first year, fellows are expected to identify a research interest and then to develop a research proposal. So getting started in research in my first year was kind of a slow process. The big hurdle you may face is all the red tape and the paperwork to get the project approved by the IRB, which is the Institutional Review Board. And this group ensures that you are following the proper protocols for your project and following all the rules. So a large chunk of of my time lately has been devoted to research on my ACHD and transition of care because this was an emerging field of cardiology and the opportunities for research are very vast. The nice thing about where I work is that we have available free snacks. <laughs> it's not a lot of stuff, but it does help when you are here for long hours and you get hungry. Fellowship is similar to residency in the sense that there are structured didactics through the week, so that is standard, but I think that one thing that cardiology fellows do a lot more of is presenting because we have two different conferences every week. Fellows are the ones that are responsible for preparing cases for discussion. So this is a lot more work than it was in residency because now you are the one that is moderating the discussion or teaching something. And in addition to that, we have to present educational topics to each other all the time. 
So the amount of reading and independent research and work that you do outside of your normal duty hours is much more than in residency. All right, so I'm taking a coffee break. I'm gonna get something fall flavor inspired. <laughs> Got some pumpkin flavor. Now I'm going to head over to lecture. And like I said earlier, I'm the one who's lecturing today. So wish me luck. You guys ready? Yay, Paulina, we are ready. <laughs> Let's start. Did you guys learn anything? We did. Oh yeah, I learned <laughs> about the ECMO and BAS. Oh, so that was fancy. Offloading, baby. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, so I am back in my apartment now. I already had dinner and everything. It's about 7 p.m. So I usually try to get at least one hour of work in the evening just to like help me prep for the next day and just feel more, more ready. So. Tomorrow I have a half day of clinic with my continuity preceptor. So I'm gonna look up all the patients that we're gonna be seeing and just familiarizing myself with them and then looking at all their previous imaging and then starting to think about what we might do with them in clinic tomorrow or the things that I wanna bring up. So I'm gonna spend a little bit of time doing that and hopefully get to relax it a little bit.